Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. I got mosquitoes chasing me right now. I'm out in the garage messing around, goofing off. And uh, I have an old, a Schrad old timer. It's called a Sharp Finder Skinner. And uh, this is one of my knives that uh, I got back from a buddy of mine. And I wanted to do a quick little review on it and tell you what I thought about it. And I've had this thing for probably before I got this one, this is my second one. The other one I had for about 20 years, and I think the color of my handle on my other one was a little bit different, but it had the same steel, same sheath, everything. But uh, this is a great little knife, and they come with this really crappy sheath, and it has this retention deal here, and you can still just pull the knife right out of the top, and it has a, a plastic insert here with a little Cordura belt loop, and it's a just a really junky sheath. I don't like it. And it always ends up falling apart. But uh, this is the Schrade Old Timer Sharp Finder Skinner. And this thing is a razor. They use some really good steel. And th this has sap and stuff all over it because I'm always using this out in the woods. I really like the purchase on the handle right here. And it's got a little thumb ramp right here. And then on the bottom, it's got a little, uh, little choil for your finger so your finger doesn't slip forward and grab that blade and cut yourself. And it does have a 90 degree edge right here so you can throw sparks off of a fire steel. But this, this uh, rubber handle that it has on it, it's like a real soft rubber, and it's just super crazy comfortable. You can hold it upside down, right side up, and uh, I mean, it's an amazing knife. And we just took and put paint remover on here and took the black coating off because it kind of made it hard when you're sharpening and doing whatever, and it was all coming off anyways from batoning with it. But uh, I figured I'd share this with you guys and show you what I did with it. So it comes with this really junky sheath, so I tossed the sheath and I went ahead and, and uh, I made a custom sheath for it. And it's got this, right here, it's got this design. I don't know if you could pick that up on camera real good. It's got a design right here. And what I did is I made the sheath so that it fits the knife. And you can see it right here. And I set it up so that when the knife fits inside there. And I like this sheath. I like how it turned out. And what I did is... The knife handle on the other sheath, it kept poking you in the side every time you'd sit down. So I dropped it down so that the belt loop is right here. So when you're wearing the knife, now it's below your belt line and you're not poking yourself in the side. And I have just a single snap on it, which I like that. And it it's, has a really good uh, retention. It's not going anywhere. This is an awesome little sheath and the, the knife with it. And now this makes a nice little combo. The only thing I wish I would have done with this, because this has a 90 degree spine, is I wish I would have put a fire steel loop on here. And I can actually do that if I unthread this and um, if I took all the thread out of this, this sheath and put a fire steel loop on here, I think that'd be a lot better, you know, where you got a fire steel loop right on the front of your uh, knife sheath. And then when you go out in the woods, you got fire and a knife. And, you know, then that way you have a way to baton wood and cut firewood and everything else and make fuzz sticks cut your meat, set traps. But anyways, cool little setup. And so I'm gonna go through, uh, the steel is 7CR17 high carbon stainless, and the weight of the knife is 3.1 ounces. Uh, it's a Delrin plastic material that is on the, uh, on the handles here. And it's, uh, the handle length is three and five eighths, the blade length is three and a quarter, and the whole, the, the length of the knife, I believe was a uh, seven and a quarter, but I don't think that's right. That's what they have it listed on the internet. And uh, I haven't measured it yet, but no biggie. It might be seven and a quarter. <clears throat> but anyways, um, other than that, that's about it. I mean, uh, I, I'd give this a five-star thumbs up. I think this is an awesome little knife. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good night.